Hi, I'm Josh, and this is Cars and Joshy. Welcome back to Cars and Joshy. This is going to be a video on the steering linkage, uh, center link, tie rods, inner and outer tie rods, and uh, the steering gearbox. I'm going to go ahead and take that off and clean it up and reinstall it. So hopefully another short video. I'm really trying to get my videos down to 5 to 10 minute videos and not 20 minute videos to help you guys out, help my viewership. So uh, enjoy. whoever put that one in there was a subscriber to the whole cross thread is better than Loctite bullshit. So what I'm going to do now, I've got my kit from Spawn all laid out. I'm going to adjust these new tie rod ends in the sleeves, try to make it the same distance uh, as the old ones. They all come with new grease zerks, fittings, and cotter pins so that's nice so one thing that's interesting is the original equipment didn't come with a castle nut and a cotter pin on the center link but the spoon or the pro forge does looks like they dab some anises in here that was nice of them I don't have to worry about it. I'm assuming these little tick marks in here means that's the end that's left hand thread. Alright, I guess I'll go ahead and put all of these greaser fittings in here. That's interesting. One missing. Strip that one trying to get it out. Alright, got all the grease zerk fittings in here, so these are ready to go on. Got a new bolt, the lower bolt on the power steering gearbox was pretty chewed up. So I went ahead and got a new bolt to replace that one with. And then 
one of these bolts was cross-threaded, so I went ahead and found two new bolts for that one as well. And this is for the idler arm. To mount the idler arm. And uh, I want to change my power steering lines out from, you know, standard lines to AN fittings. So while I was waiting on those AN fittings to come in, I went ahead and spray painted the gearbox. So I got a nice clean looking gearbox. Probably should have tapped these threads before I started this and got all the paint out of them. facing it the wrong way. Freshly painted gearbox. Next, I'm going to throw on the front sway bar and then I'll be done on the front end here for a while. And then I think I'll, I'll go ahead and mount the, the new clamshells in here just to throw them on there and be ready for the engine when I get it. Probably go back through and make sure all these brake lines and stuff are tightened tightened down but yeah definitely gonna have to get this thing on alignment once I get it you know on the road and whatnot so or not on the road I'll probably tow it somewhere to get the alignment and stuff done don't forget to subscribe if you like what you're seeing make sure y'all subscribe to the channel help, help me get my subs up Make sure you leave some comments too if you have any any questions. Alright, it's Cars and Joshy. Josh out.